Hey Jens here. In this video, we're going to shoot challenging high magnification macrophotography. Therefore, we're going to use the 25 of Lauer, the short version of the Pope Sheet, and a very special slider, the Myops Slider Plus. This is able to shoot one image per one micron distance. So, this is very versatile, especially for extreme high magnification macrophotography. And we're going to collect gigabytes of data, which will then be post processed within seconds. It's going to be awesome. Let's go. I hope you enjoyed the intro. Now let's talk about how to recreate those images or how I took them with the setup. The most important part actually is this slider. It's the Miop Slider Plus. Before we're going to take a closer look on the subjects we're going to photograph today, how is this slider actually working? It is made of carbon, it is very high quality and it comes with an app which controls everything. This setup really offers countless options for creative photography, but in this video, we're gonna only focus on the option to focus stack. It has some internal batteries. You can connect or you need to connect your camera with the slider. It got this power button and a reset button. On the bottom part, there's a screw so you can mount the slider onto a tripod if you want. But now let's focus on how to set this up with the app. You just need to turn on Bluetooth and then the app automatically connects with the slider. Then we go to focus stacking and then we have four options. The first thing is to set an A and B point, a start and end point. I recommend to set the A point at the top of the slider and the B, the end point, two centimeters behind. We move the slider to the front, therefore we can use the circle icon, accept the position, go to point B, use the circle icon again and at the bottom you can see the distance between A and B. So yeah, I'd recommend to use distance between two or three centimeters. The next option is very important because here we can define the steps the camera the setup will take. For example, we set a distance of two centimeters and we take 1000 steps. Then the camera will take one image every two micrometers. So it is very important to know your camera, your setup and what the field of depth in your images eventually will be. If you're not sure, just take a sample image of a scale and then you need to do some calculations how many steps between those two centimeters the camera shall go. For my images, I used a range between three and 10 micron. As I use a flash, the exposure setting is not that important for me, but the interval option is very important because, for example, when you don't use a flash and you use longer exposure time, you can set a waiting time so that there is no blur caused by any vibrations or shake on your images. And for the flash users, this is also very important because I'm using the newer 800 ADS, which is very powerful, but it is very slow. So this flash really needs eight to 10 seconds to recover. So I have to set the interval for like 12 seconds to get sure that there are no black frames. And that's it. Then we start and the camera starts shooting. Now we need to talk about the settings I use to take the single frames. There's one major issue in high magnification macro photography and that is the higher the magnification, the more we have to open up the aperture to have high detailed images. I recommend to use apertures between 2.8 and 5.6 depending on the magnification of your macro setup. I did some tests between four and six X magnification and different apertures. And here are the settings I used to eventually get a clean stack. Thank you. 
for the setting and the setup, I of course use my professional gear. That means putty and flowers to position the object around to get a nice contrast of the insect and the background. I started with the stink bug and the results were at the beginning pretty okay, but there was one really big issue and that was actually Photoshop because I was not sure if I chose the wrong parameters, if the steps were too big or if the software, that means Photoshop just not capable for focus stacking. I have seen a lot of photographers using Photoshop for their image stacks but I think for this high magnification stacking, Photoshop is just a terrible choice. The calculation times were crazy. It took like 30 minutes to calculate one image and then I just realized that the stack was crap. So then I started to test other softwares on the market and for me personally, I think that Helicon Focus 8 works perfect. I have stacked all my images with this software without any issues and the speed in comparison to Photoshop was just insane. And the very best thing about Helicon is actually the preview function. When you have worked with Photoshop and you have waited hours and days to get crappy results, you directly get a preview and then the result is there. It is so satisfying to see how the layers are combined till the final image is post-processed. Yeah, it's just been a super fun week to experiment with the new setup. Let me know in the comments what you'd like to see next. If there are any open questions, every products used in the video are linked in the video description. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and hopefully see you in the next.